So today we're going to show you how to use the Cricut, which you can find in the library. You'll want to open up the Cricut app, which can be found in your launch pad. And you'll want to create a new project. So once you are in a new project, you can work with adding text. You can type whatever you want. I prefer to use capital letters if I'm working on a poster or a bulletin board. And then you can resize it by dragging it. There's also a little height indicator when I'm using a bulletin board. I typically do about four inches tall. And then I can go through the system fonts, which are the free fonts. I like to use ones that tend to be a little bit thicker if I'm gonna glue it onto a bulletin board or a poster. And then I'll wanna ungroup it so that I can save paper when I'm cutting it out. There's also shapes that you can use and you can resize those as well. And then there's also images. So you can type in whatever you want and then make sure you select the free ones so that you don't have to pay anything to use the images. One thing that you can do is if you find an image that you really like, you can just copy and paste it. And you can have as many as you want. And then in the library, we have a lot of different cardstock that you can use for your projects. Once you find the paper you want, you'll want to take a Cricut mat. It's a sticky mat that will hold the paper in place, and you'll want to press the paper into the mat. And then you'll want to open up our Cricut. This is our Cricut Maker. We also have a Cricut Maker 3, and you'll want to plug it into your laptop. In the design space, you'll want to just make sure that you're choosing the right one. And then you'll hit make. And then inside the design space, you'll choose what paper. We tend to have the letter size paper, eight and a half by 11. And then it'll ask you what kind of paper that you're using. The cardstock that we buy is typically medium cardstock. And then you'll load it into the machine. The buttons will start to blink and they'll tell you which step you need to do first. And then once it's loaded, you'll hit the Cricut symbol that will also blink at you and it will do its work. You can see the progress on your screen. And sometimes it's really fun to watch it go. And then it will blink when it's ready to unload and it will tell you when to do the next sheet of paper if your project is big enough to need more mats. Once you're done, the best way to get it out is to flip it over. You won't hurt the mat and it will help protect your paper. And then you'll pop out your letters or your images. And then you can use glue to put it on your poster or staple it onto a bulletin board. The Cricut can also draw, so once you select an image that you want, just make sure you select the function for pen. And then you'll hit make, and you'll select it the same way you would with cutting. You'll just need to add a pen into the Cricut. And then feed in the paper. And then what it will start to do is it will draw the image that you have chosen. I don't really recommend having it draw a lot of text if you are doing a poster, but it can do a lot of really fun images. It can also make cards. And then another thing you might want to use the Cricut for is vinyl. So it will cut out vinyl. I've cut out a star here. And then I can peel off the parts that I don't want. And then what it's created for me is a sticker that I can put on a water bottle or another poster. There's many different types of vinyl and they all have different uses. 
If you're interested in using the Cricut, come on by the library and we'll help you with it.